and joined by UTEP head soccer coach, Coach Balgan. Coach, thanks so much for joining us here today. Obviously, a lot to go through UTEP soccer season just about to get underway in two days' time. You'll have your home opener against UC Davis. But to start with, last season, a bit of a rough one. You guys went 4-12 and 12 on the season, but you brought in 14 new players, so almost a bit of a rebuild. How are the team kind of bonding together so far? Yeah, it, I mean, it was a really rough season. Um, when you lose 10 games by one goal, you're like, we're so close, and yet it doesn't really matter, right, at the end of the day. Um, what's been super exciting, and if you were at any of – our game on Sunday um, you would have even seen it there but just a really ignited group um, which is fun considering they're merging together from all over all over the world really um, and so the nice part is they've really taken it upon themselves to say okay let's get to know each other and so now for us as the coaching staff it's been really nice just to be able to come in and okay let's ha how's this girl doing how, how are we doing here like just kind of checking in on things instead of having to lead that process. And, th and that's been fun. And now you're kind of seeing that teamwork play out on the field as well. Two exhibition matches so far. You had Colorado College last week, and then you had uh, Sal Ross State on Sunday. I was at the Sal Ross State game. You guys won that 12-1, to 1, just a, a massive performance. I got there with 17 minutes left in the game, and I saw five goals. And I had to kind of check myself. Is this soccer that I'm watching right now? Uh, it was an incredibly impressive performance. What did you see kind of the improvement from that 2-1 to 1 loss against Colorado College to then that 12-1 to 1 win against Sal Ross State? Yeah, I think the first thing is do have to give Sal Ross total credit. Just appreciate them coming. They brought out a ton of fans, which was awesome. I think the fun part about Sunday's game was the fact that they not they played the whole time and they weren't in it wasn't in a disrespectful way. Like sometimes people can take the their foot off the, the gas pedal. Um, but I think what the team did really well was stay engaged throughout the whole thing. Kind of like what you're talking about. Um, and I thought what they also did well is they played with a ton of different combinations. We didn't just say, hey, these are going to be our starters and we're just going to push them. Um, like there was a lot of players moving in and out um, and everybody contributed as a whole, which is, is awesome moving forward into Thursday's game. I think one of the best goals I saw on Sunday was Mina Rodriguez, uh, the goalkeeper for Sal Ross State, had the ball and was kind of getting ready to kick it out into the field. And Mina just saw what was happening and just pounced on the ball, like pressed like she, I guess, had never pressed before. It was really impressive. Stole the ball, ended up getting a goal off the back of that. Is pressing and kind of playing that attacking style of football, is that something you're incorporating this season? For us, we hadn't really thought about it. We didn't know completely what, when, I mean, we've seen them play, but when it translates into the college game, you never really know. And Nina does a really good job of reading the cues and stepping well. Like she's quick, she closes space like that. Um, and we knew that coming in, um, but what, what has been surprising to us in both of the exhibition games actually is that's how she got her first goal um, against Colorado College. So she's a freshman, two goals on the season, and so definitely looking at it and like, hey, we're gonna add this in for sure. It's in the game plan. Speaking of the game plan, big game on Thursday. You see Davis, the first game of the season at home. I'm sure you're going to want to see a lot of the 915 out there supporting. What can fans expect and, and what are you expecting from that game? Yeah, I mean, we have consistently said, hey, we want to be a possession-based team. We want to, to do the defensive well as a unit. Um, last year, we didn't kind of do the little, as we're calling them right now, the minor details well. Um, and so we've really harped on those. And so I think you'll see a cleaner version of where we are. Obviously, a lot of new faces and a lot of learning curves still to go. And then really the big press for us once we kind of get this defense thing um, on lock is moving into that attacking the opponent's half, right? And being able to possess in that half and being, being able to get into the, what we call the red zone inside the 18. Um, and, and create opportunities for us. Are we going to score everyone? No. But the more times we get in there, the more opportunities we have. And I think that's what we missed last year and what, we're, we're, what we are really working for this year. I liked the pun on uh, minor mm -hmm. details. And for all of you Miners fans, uh, Thursday's game against UC Davis, that's the last time that you can see the Miners for a while. After that, you have five away games, including a game in Las Cruces on September 1st against the Aggies. So get out to University Field for Thursday's game at 7 p.m. and support your Miners. Coach Balligan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Picks up. A new study.